War 3 of Season 50. GT40 is playing Nath, and I am bringing Silk, Onslaught, and Adam Warlock. I'm taking Path 5 and Path 6. Um, I have a pretty chill war because I requested it. I'm on a work trip. And so, um, first fight is Nick Fury with Onslaught. I make a couple mistakes in this fight, but it's Onslaught. Like, he he's pretty difficult to die with. I'm not going to say impossible, but you have to do a lot of things wrong. Um, also, I think his passive stun is shorter than I imagined it normally to be. I don't know if that's true, but it felt really short. Um, yeah, that feels really short to me. I don't know why, um, but even looking back, it looks it looks pretty, pretty quick. Um, so I'm not sure why that is. Um, but anyway... Because of that, I do some heavy counters when originally my plan was not to do that. Um, and so here I'm like, he's kind of getting chunked. Maybe I should just combo him down and then special to him for the second life. And on paper, that sounds like a great idea. In practice, it's kind of stupid um, because you lose all your neuroshocks. I forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot about that. I, for some reason, brain farted and figured, oh, it's his debuffs, which is just like not how he's ever worked before. Um, but you know what? Okay, so we have you here. And then we do that, which is not at all what I was trying to do. Um, but it's kind of fine. <laughs> like, Onslaught's just hitting hard by himself. He's a rank 3 versus a 6 star. Like, he's bound to hit hard, especially with the uh, Ebb and Flow Fury. Um, so not a very good fight in terms of my conceptualization of the approach, um, nor is it a good fight in terms of execution. Um, but we get out of it with 96% health. I guess all is well that ends well. Um, but yeah, so we get it there without any problems. Um, then we have an America Chavez. I have Silk. Um, what's the danger in this fight? Unstoppable Heavy, she's slowed. Um, and Special 2 is unblockable, but I can evade that. So very, very minimal um, things to worry about in this fight. The one thing that is kind of a problem does actually end up popping up. Um, but that is fine. Okay, so start off, knock her down, do a bunch of damage. I'm gonna be open if she wants to throw a special one, she can. Um, but if she doesn't, that's fine too. She has special two, and naturally, because she has special two, she throws a rogue heavy. Um, and, uh, I'm just gonna evade that. So yeah, uh, I, I messed that up, obviously, because it's very difficult to text. Um, and then, yeah, so here I played a little bit safe. Do a short combo into special 2. I don't want to push her back to L2 when I do not have my evade up. That would be bad. Um, she does almost die, so yeah, a longer combo would have killed her. But again, I'm trying to be safe here. And here is that one thing. She would have shrugged my stun if I had heavied, so I back off. Um, that was really the only problem in that fight. And so uh, we did end up running into it, but it was not that big of a deal. Um, and yeah, Chavez goes down. Um, so super straightforward. Silk is absurd. It turns out that auto-evading special attacks is like pretty useful in war um and then we have two more fights we have a bishop i'm using silk again auto evade special attacks if i feel that sp2 decks it's fine i won't get hit um so my game plan going in is pretty straightforward um if i wanted to be extra safe i could have ps1 or anvold but again i have my auto evade i shouldn't need it but i shouldn't need it twice that's for darn sure um so here we go going to combo, heavy him, and then I want to push him up to two bars, okay, do an abbreviated combo, turtle, and then I get the heavy out of him, probably could have reparried there, but kind of was in a single uh, mindset, then he gets a special two, and I actually missed this dex, um, I go early, but again, auto evading and war, very helpful, so here we tap a couple times because we want this to push him to L2, um, but actually, realistically, didn't really want that, um, because I'm, like, not back to my fade. <laughs> so, now I am. So now I can bait this out of him. Perfect. And this time, we actually do get the dex. Um, good to know that I'm good at least half the time. Combo into Relic. Into... Yeah, there you go. So, Double Fury Special 2 is very, very overkill. Um, and again, turns out that auto evading special attacks in War is very, very helpful. I have one last fight. It is with my rank 3 Adam Warlock. I don't know if I've ever brought two rank 3s to war. Um, I don't know if I've ever brought more than... I, I think this is the first season I've ever used rank 3 in war on attack, actually. I don't know if that's true, um, but 
I think this is the first real season I've, I've used the rank three on attack, and, and this is the first one I'm using two, that's for sure. Um, go unblockable, okay. And then right about now, I can also counter evade. He throws that, I'm not worried. I want to get to 30. 20 is the crit, 30 is the fury, he throws that. Five hits into special two should, if not kill, come pretty darn close. Okay, there we go. And uh, I somehow missed two crits, which is really, really hard to do statistically, um, but uh, he goes down anyway. So a little bit of a messy war, but um, got out of it unscathed. Peace.